and we're back for another episode. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to level gathering classes from 51 until 52. So at 10 a.m. or 10 11, uh, sorry, 10 a.m. or 10 p.m., you want to come to roughly this sort of area in Western Corpus as a botanist, and you can do the unspoiled nodes. Now the thing is though, this is the first time I've done them, so I need to uncover them first. But the reason we do these uncovered nodes, especially the these ones, is because they can be turned in for collectible items. So you see here these Corfin tea leaves. So we really want to make sure that we get as many of these Corfin tea leaves as we can because we need them for leather. You know, so leather is very important. Now, the thing is, when it comes to these sort of new items, is that because the expansion is only a couple of days old at this point, um, some of these items, like for example these Corfin tea leaves, as simple as they are to get and how often you can get them, uh, they are selling right now for fifteen to 25,000 gil each. So 15,000 for the normal quality and uh, 20,000 plus for the high qualities. And what they're used for ideally or primarily is to make these acri acrinus leather so you can see here corfin tea leaves and the reason again they're so high priced is because maybe a lot of people don't realize the fact that you can get them from right here um, at 10 a.m and 10 p.m now what we're also going to do now as well we're going to switch to minor and we're going to wait until noon and at noon, as in the previous episodes, we're going to be doing a collectible for mining. So there is a lot of running around I found in this expansion when it comes to gathering classes. A lot more than before because they spaced out the nodes a lot more than before. But we also have the flying mount system in this game, so it's not really a problem. So for the first couple of days, sure, before you can fly around the zones, it might seem tedious, but... As soon as you can start flying around, you can get from place to place very, very quickly. As you can see, this miner is doing right here. So it's going to be normal for you to fly around. And as well, to unlock flying in each zone, you need to activate all of the A for currents and get all the other A for currents from quests. But I will cover that in a future episode. So we're waiting for noon to come up, which is not too long away, a couple of minutes away. And in the meantime, other things to talk about are the Grand Company turn in. So do the provisioning missions with the Grand Companies every day. They should not be underestimated because for fishing, for example, I've been able to get an entire level of fishing without really doing any other fish. So uh, it's fishing especially. I'm not really going to even show the fishing because with the Grand Company turn ins, you level up so fast that. You see, it's like just neck and neck with my botanist, even though I've been trying to level botanist and I haven't been trying to level fisher. And you can see my miners shot right ahead of the others because of the collectible technique. So what I'm waiting for now is just 19 more Eorzean minutes, which is about a minute human minutes left. And then we're going to do the collectible. So, you know, and hello. You can see members of my FC are also mining here as well. So now the thing is with gathering, it's something I'm finding it's something to do casually at this point. That's my recommendation. It's like because I'm spending a lot of time right now leveling up all my crafting classes. You can see they're approaching all 52 plus. And um, I just wait for certain times of the day. So 10 a.m. So, well, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock is my sort of gathering time of the day, which leaves me between 2 o'clock and 10 o'clock to gather, sorry, to craft. So that's how I'm sort of organizing my day right now between crafting and gathering. And then other than crafting and gathering, in between doing the story mode, every day I'm, I'm making sure I do the high-level roulette just for the sake of the experience bonus. Okay, so it's now 12, so let's go. Sometimes the node, the collectible node will be right here, but most other time and other times it's just across the river bed over there. So we just, it's a short run, it's really, really quick to get there from this sort of bridge. So you want to uh, stay around Black Iron Bridge, that's basically the point. And I'm going to st stealth just to be safe. You have to make sure as well that you have as much gp as possible now the thing is you only have one eorzean hour to do this so i'm going to quickly use a cordial to make sure i do 
and then what you need to do as before activate collector's glove right click on the node use toil of the mountaineer and then we're going to uh, click on the yellow copper ore we're going to hit um sharp vision just for the sake of it and now we're going to hit discerning eye and we're going to hit methodical appraisal twice and the reason we do that is to make sure that it has enough collectability so that we can turn it in to the collectible appraiser. And doing it in this order will allow you to get four of these ores, which will give us a total of 60,000 experience each, which is kind of a lot, really. Oh, I just noticed my bag space is now full. So let me just drop some cheap, cheap item. What's the cheapest item I have? Rubber. Okay, I think we can get rid of rubber for now, no problem. So let's collect that. You can see, I'm really straining my bag space because I have been doing so much crafting and gathering as well. And collectible items take up one slot um, on their own. So anyway, what we're going to do next, I'll show you the routine I've been doing, is we're going to head back for now to Revenant's Toll so I can clear some bag space. So teleport to Revenant's Toll. But th we do have somewhere else to be at... Uh, 2 p.m. and 2 a.m. as well as part of this routine which I'll be going straight to once I turn in these items and free some bag space. So and we can see because these give me 60,000 experience each the four of these yellow copper ores I might actually ding 53 so let alone 51 to 52 I've been shooting way ahead with these so yellow copper ore let's turn in you can see it's good enough to be handed in so 60,000 experience times four so you can see that this game keeps you very, very much busy. But at the same time, it is kind of like a casual approach as well. It doesn't require hours and hours of mindless uh, gathering. You can get away with a lot less effort than before. So what I'm now going to do is I'm just going to sell some... Oh, actually, let me put some of these items, these chives and pearl sprouts. Before I see if they're worthless or not, I'll see if I can just sell them. To see what they're worth. So let's see. Okay, so I don't need these just yet. Chives. So let's see. Apparently 4,000 because it's from an unspoiled node, so it's kind of rare to get them. And sprouts are, again, for, uh, just uh, around the 5,000 gil region. Okay, so we freed up some bag space, which is always important to do. So always check your bag, see if there's any item which you just either don't need or you can store in a retainer. So what we're now going to do, we're going to switch to botanist. And we need to teleport to the tail feather, which is in the Dravanian footlands. You can run to the Dravanian footlands just through a zone line from the northwest corner of the Kaorthan Western Highlands. It's very easy to get here. So you can see Kaorthan... Western Highlands. It's quite a run, but you can run all the way to here. You can run to here and teleport right there. And anyway, the reason we're in this zone is because at 2 p.m., another uh, collectible spawns that we want to get for Botanist, which is, you know, makes sense. So we, we do Miner first, and then we do Botanist at two hours, two Eorzean hours later. So what the area we need to kind of run to is this sort of area around here around x25 y12 this sort of region is where it spawns which is kind of annoying given it's like right in the middle of this fate but whatever we can always use stealth so it's no problem and as well be careful not to get aggroed by mobs because you have very little health and these are very high level targets so try and stealth try and be sneaky around these sort of areas and we have already used truth of the forest to reveal the node as soon as it spawns so anyway I don't think my GP is going to uh, recover in time, so cordial is always a good idea. Try and hold plenty of them if you have them. So we're going to just stealth around this sort of region until it spawns. It's about to spawn. You see it's 13 minutes left. So, yeah, I'm not going to risk it for now. As soon as we get a bit further away, okay, we can just run normally again. So we'll wait for it to spawn. But, wow, look at this. The environments of this game, everything about this game is just perfection at the moment. And I've barely scratched the surface. This is only the second zone I've gone into 
is the Dravanian forelands. It really is. There's so many other places to go. But um, that's just part of the, the fun, really. It's just exploring. So anyway, it's about to hit 2 p.m. Okay, so you can see it's spawned, so we're going to run straight there. Of course, this would be simpler if we had flying mounts, but we will later in the future, we will. But for now, uh, we will just make do with going everywhere on foot. Try not to aggro these bears. It is kind of bad if you do. So you can see it is this sort of area. And it is, as I said, right in the middle of the fate, so you really have to be careful when going here. I'm going to stealth... Yeah, there it is. Uns unspoiled lush vegetation patch. So the first thing we're going to do on the way there, we're going to activate Collector's Glove because we need it anyway. We have a more than 600 GP, which is what we need. Okay, this is what we do. So as before, we're going to use Toil of the Pioneer to reveal everything. Because we've already activated Collector's Glove, we click on the Old World, old world Fig. We click on Field Mastery. We click on Discerning Eye, and we click on Methodical Appraisal twice to make sure that we are collecting old world figs which are good enough for the collectible appraisal. Appraiser, sorry. So, yep, 289, let's collect that. Collect that. And. So each time we should get four using this method. Done. So again, let's teleport back. We don't have to teleport back to Revenant Salt every time. I just wanted to uh, free up some bag space because of my bag space is really short at the moment. So this is why the collectible feature is so important. Like get into it ASAP. Like, because it will boost your crafting so much. You can see my mind is almost 53 already with barely any effort. And the higher your gatherers are, the easier you can get items for yourself to boost your crafting more without having to spend money on the market board. So anyway, let's hand in Old World Fig times 4. And you can see every time we're going to get 60,480 experience for each one. Let's hand over, hand over and hand over. So, like I said, I'm not overly concerned about fishing just yet. Mostly because uh, it's getting s such huge experience from the Grand Company uh, dailies every day that um, I am i haven't really prioritized it. You can if you like, but I haven't really prioritized fishing just yet. If I have a reason to prioritize it in the future, then of course I will. But anyway, guys, that's it for the 51 to 52 gathering guides. And more guides on the way. Um, working hard on this series to make sure that we get towards 60 and all crafts and gathering ASAP. And you can see I'm doing them side by side because it's actually useful to do them all side by side. So anyway, guys, that's it from me. So as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri.